relates to me as a human being, please don't let this happen. Don't let this be my legacy. Be happy I'm gone. Be happy if you think you made the right move, regardless of how it got from point A to point B, whether you think it's true, whether you think it's not true, whatever you said and did to make it happen, happen. But don't let Amber sit here for the next two months and feel this way. Don't let your dad sit here for the next two months and feel this way because I've never been anything but good to them. I've always liked them. I've always looked out for them. I would never say anything to affect their personal lives or say anything hurtful. I think you guys are going to find it funny. I don't find it funny, but you guys are going to find it funny. I say extremely kind things about everyone in the diary room. That's one of the best parts about this. Everyone has now concocted this scenario. They're going to go home and watch this show where I'm going to absolutely slaughter people. <laughs> um, no. They're going to go home and watch a show where they say, tell me your thoughts on Jamaica. And I'm going to say, she is, you know, you know, sent from God, an absolute saint. I love her with all of my heart. What a kind and amazing person. And straight on down the line. Um, you know, anything negative that was said, which I'm sure everyone has done, myself included, was said in the heat of the moment, you know, at 3 a.m. after you have a fight with someone, after someone puts you in a spot that you don't think you should be in. Um, but, you know, I'm in a situation right now where Amber, who I was close with, you know, Dustin as her friend and, you know, Jessica, who I've, we've never made any bones about the fact that I'm obviously close with her. Um, they won't even look at me. They won't even look at me. And um, I think, and I'm not holding you accountable for this. I might be the only person in the house who can separate you and your dad as two separate people. Um, you're two separate people, and I'm not blaming you for his actions. But I feel... Like, he has um, unnecessarily, you know, set me up to take an enormous, enormous fall, and it was directed at my personal character, not my gameplay, not anything else, and I didn't do the things I'm being blamed for. I um, don't think that a lot of these things should have ever come up or come into play, and... You know, they may have come from you. They may have come from him. I wasn't in these conversations. I can't say anything either way. But it should never be a scenario in which I'm leaving the house and people are jumping up and down, high-fiving. Um, I never did anything to deserve that. So if that's where people's mind frame is at, then it's gone overboard in my estimation. And um, I, I don't know. That's all. That's all I can really say is that um, I think I'm being presented in a really unfair light and that you are in charge this week. That's, that's as far as I'm stating, you know. Um, and if anyone you know that I know that this game has been brought to a personal level. It's unneeded and unnecessary and just it's just doesn't need to be there. Mm -hmm. um, people in this game have brought, you know, people's personal lives into it, which have absolutely nothing to do with anything here. They don't know the real story. They're calling people out on it, and it, it doesn't need to be done. So honestly, on that, of all people, you know that I know how you feel on that. And, and I, it's not necessary. It has nothing to do, and it's not the right thing to do because this game is not about that. And honestly, you know that I will. I will talk to my dad, and I will tell him to stop doing that because you know I know how it feels, and it's not. On that note, and I'm sorry to interrupt you. No worries. Um, but, you know, I heard the laundry list of, of accusations and things I've done or whatever, and uh, take it for what it's worth. When... I stood up there on Thursday and defended you. I defended you because she crossed the line with someone that I was friends with and someone I cared about. 
not because I had planned ahead of time. Well, if Jen happens to say something, you know, mean-spirited towards Danielle, I'll play the hero and I'll jump out and it'll look great and it'll cover up my five secret alliances and uh, it'll get me on the ins with this one and that one or whatever. No. In fact, I was pacing the sidelines because I was so disgusted that I left you and Jessica up there to fight our collective battle. Now, I understand you guys are incredibly strong. I'm not taking anything away from you and I'm not saying otherwise, but I was left the two of you up there when I should have been up there with you. And I was absolutely devastated by the fact that I did that to you guys. I stood in front of Jessica for a good half an hour trying to encourage her and encourage you as well, of course. And um, when she said those things, it pushed me over the edge. You weren't in a position to fight back at that point. Your dad's voice only means so much. He doesn't have any sort of a relationship with Jen whatsoever. He's yelled at her a million times, and he's your dad. Of course he's going to defend you. I thought to myself at that time, she's not in a position to defend herself. His word will only go so far in this situation. If no one else is going to do it, I am. And you want to know what? There was a very large chance, a very large chance, that Jen or Kale would have won. They had, you know, a 66% chance, and they were both looking just as comfortable as you were. Um, And, sorry, I stood up and said those things from me being me. And I would have been nominated if one of them won, regardless of the <laughs> alliance I allegedly have. I assure you, it wouldn't have been you. It would have been your dad and me. And I think of anything I heard this week, that hurt me the most, because that was yet another example of me being having nothing to do with the game, being myself and being true and being me, and it was being used against me.